only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed so please consider hitting that subscribe button it would help me a lot enjoy the video hello and welcome in today's video i will be showing you the best and most efficient way of farming oak and last day on earth first up is preparation for the armor use a level 3 armor set when it's almost about to break use the, these resources to upgrade it to a reinforced one then for healing items I recommend using bandages or card stews, either one works fine. As for the weapons, take skull crushers and a couple of crowbars or cleavers. Choose cleavers if you have good mods on them but both work fine. Just in case break a glock, you can use it against AI bots or if you get swarmed by zombies. Even though you should just leave the global map and reset the zone. Lastly, instead of taking iron hatchets with you, take the materials to craft them on the zone. For 20 hatchets you will need to bring 90 iron, 60 planks, 40 nails and 90 duct tape. Of course it depends on how much you want to spend there. Before going in, a few things. Take a shower or suicide to reset your stink level. Clean your bike. And if you have a true friend dog, take him with you. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> ah! Akira! The best for oak farming is the oak grove. Even if it's more dangerous than the oak bushes, it is more worth it as you will get more oak trees. Plus we aren't going to kill too much zombies. Now that we are inside the zone, what you are going to do is to go around the map while staying in the edges. Don't go further away as toxic spitters will attack you immediately. Then try to spot oak trees from a distance using your mini map. Go in, put it down and go back. Keep patrolling the area and don't bother going into the middle. If any toxic spitters attack you, avoid their spit at all cost. What you can do is whenever he first comes at you, go to the side, hit him twice and move aside. As for the toxic abominations, they have the ability to spot you from far away. More specifically, the second ring on the minimap. If you see one next to a tree or something, just go in sneak mode, use skull crusher and cleaver so to quickly take him down. If you see the big one run away and reset the location, there is no need to fight him. Using this method you can expect to get around 40 oak per location. Each location requires two and a half iron hatches to cut down the trees. If you repeat the process you will end up with a full inventory of oak. Go back and forth between the oak grove and northern watchtower as it's cheaper on energy. 
One trick you can do to maximize your storage capacity is to use the dead body trick on Northern Watchtower. I have made a video explaining this trick, but to sum it up, you need to fill all the slots of your inventory and then just starve to death. Check out the video on the top right for more details. Do exactly as I said and don't risk too much. If you feel you are overwhelmed with zombies, just leave the zone and reset it. No need to fight more than you need. Fast forward to the end of the video, I used up half of my resources and got 9 stacks of oak. I estimate that by using 20 iron hatchets you may end up with roughly an inventory full of oak. After you are done, you can store your resources inside the dead body for later usage. And that's all, hopefully this video was helpful to you. If so, please consider subscribing as only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. Also, watch my previous video where I showed the best ways to farm XP. Thanks for watching and bye bye.